All right, we're back. We're going to build this sauce up. This one's destined for number 93. Every time I build a sauce up, I put different recipes. I did kind of write down a list of what I wanted to do for today's video. Um, this is going to go in number three. I document all these, and when I come up with a recipe that I just love, I'll end up packaging it, and it'll get any kind of number, you know, who knows what it is. But that's the process that I use here at home. All right, let's get to building. I've already told you I've got one and a half cups of ketchup in here for a base. I'm just going to show, try and knock through this. You can make this close, it doesn't have to be 100% exact. Now you'll notice here in my uh, pan that I don't have the heat on yet. Ketchup heats up real quickly and it, it's molten almost and it'll splatter up so I like to get some of the ingredients into the pan um, by the time I get the ketchup and the liquid ingredients in here then I'll turn the heat up we'll start to cook it up alright so I've got uh, two and a half cups of ketchup I'm gonna add half cup molasses Let's keep one of these guys on here, it helps me. I'm going to put a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. Remember in my intro here, I told you I already had a quarter cup of water measured out. So I'm going to put four of this up here. Oops, let's turn that guy around. And that's my quarter cup of cider vinegar and water. See how easy this is, guys? It's not real hard to do. We're going to use a quarter cup of honey. On there. And it gets sticky in there. See how fast this is going? Believe it or not, here we only have a little bit more to go. So honey. A little splash of whiskey. Don't need to measure that, just a little. You don't need too much on there. It's a good time to turn my heat on. That's all about. Get in there. Start out cayenne pepper. Just a twinge of this. Depends how spicy you like it. I've got kids that don't like it to be too spicy. And we're going to use half teaspoon cumin, half teaspoon chili powder, half teaspoon garlic powder, half teaspoon onion powder. Now this is just what I put here today. If you've got some ideas at home, you want to add a little, you like a little more spice, add more spice, no problem. You could add a hot sauce to this, would taste real good too. Come in here, I've got two tablespoons. Ooh. That's probably going to be close, but since I'm on film here, we'll add that up a little more. One, two tablespoons of brown sugar, be just about right. Got a half teaspoon kosher salt. And if you would believe it, that's going to turn into an absolutely beautiful barbecue sauce. Now I've got all the ingredients in here. It's the first time I've ever videoed one where I had everything all lined up and measured out like that. That sure made it easy. Now I've got the warm on here and this is real important. This is going to cook for a total of about 15 or 20 minutes on my cooktop. You can see, just whisk this together. And it's going to start to look great. Now as this cooks up, for, spite, or, uh, for heat, it's going to start to thicken, coagulate that ketchup base. The cider vinegar is going to give you a nice base with some background. You've got a little bit of heat. Got a little bit of sweet from the molasses and the honey. 
And I'm guessing that old number 93 here is going to turn out to be a pretty tasty barbecue sauce, but we'll see when it's done. So I'm going to turn the camera off. We're going to keep this simmering. I'm going to actually, a little better than a simmer, I'm going to keep this over just medium heat. We're going to pull the, get the temperature up. This is going to start to bubble. I'll need to uh, whisk almost constantly. I was to remember I was talking about how molten it gets, and it just bloop, 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 splashes up. So we'll turn the camera off, come back here in a few minutes. All right, I just thought I'd just leave the, uh, show you a quick shot here. This is if you don't stir the barbecue sauce. You see how it starts to splatter up? I don't know how hot this is, but you can even see it just starts to splatter up around the sides. If I don't stir this at all, if I don't keep whisking this, it's just going to bubble up. But it is real important to keep it up to a virtual, not, not a rolling boil, but just keep the temperature up. So you keep the whisk out here, you keep it, this will incorporate and emulsify really is what's most important. You'll melt down the ingredients, emulsify them together. Just keep your whisk in there. If you, as soon as you step, you can see it just bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. This is almost done. I'm going to go on here. We'll turn the camera off. I'm going to keep whisking and stirring this for a few minutes, about another five minutes like this, and we'll be done. Had the I cooked this up for about eight ten more minutes after the last time I turned the camera off. Now the heat's been off for about five. I can walk away from this now. We're going to cool it down. Thin, uh, hot barbecue sauce has a real thin. I got a spoon over here. It's a much thinner viscosity. This is going to thicken up, which is what you know I'm going to want it to do. There's different. If you want to add more water to keep the thinner viscosity, that's just fine to do too. Uh, but I'm going to see what this looks like once it cools down. We're going to see. I'm going to bottle it up. This will be number 93. I'm going to post this on the internet, give this a try at home, and maybe send in, uh, send in a reply on my website at loveyourbbq.com. Try the sauce. Let me know how you think it tastes. And more importantly, let me know if you uh, improved it. Add some of your own ingredients, some of your own flair at home and come up with something you like and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.